Oh yeah, and welcome to Jank Quest. Today we have a post-rotation Lugia V-Star deck profile for you. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, it really helps. And without further ado, let's get to it. So we start off playing four copies of the Lugia V. Not much to say about it really, use it as a stepping stone to get to the V-Star. It does have a nice discard ability though for one energy. So you can discard a card from your hand and draw three and getting cards out of your hand is very important in this deck So that does come if you go second and then it's got a uh, attack for four energy and you can discard a stadium uh, we Play the Lugia V-Star three copies. So this has a really broken ability Its V-Star ability is that you can basically bring back two discarded normal Pokemon without a rule box so you obviously grab your Archeops to get your engine going, start grabbing your energies. And Tempest Dive is really good because you can also discard a Stadium. So it can remove any pesky Temple of Sinnohs and things. And a lot of the time I'll also discard my own Stadium if I think it can give the opponent advantage. So really good card. As an attacker, we play two copies of Tyranitar V. It's just crazy that this is seeing play, but this is more of a single strike build now post rotation. So you've got your Cragalanch, which mills the top two cards of your opponent's deck and hits for 60. And you've got Single Strike Crush, which mills the top four cards of your deck and hits for 240. You've also got a factor in the Single Strike energies add 20 for each copy. So if you drag all the copies out of your deck in one go with the Archeops, you can hit the 320 and knock almost anything out. And this is also a really good meta call because you've got the likes of Mew still running around and Godvar EX, so you can hit for weakness and you know take out anything for double damage. Similarly, we have Stonjourner, which deals with Maraidon and Arceus. This can hit for 30 plus another 30 with a Stadium in play or 120 and again, it's gonna hit those two aforementioned decks for double, and the single strike can stack damage on top as well. Next, for utility, we play two copies of Luminion V. Nothing new here, bench it, and you can grab a supporter that you need, and then obviously the four copies of the Archeops. So you can grab two special energies from your deck and attach them to a Pokemon each turn. So you can grab up to four energies. It's just a crazy, crazy good engine. Still broken and absolutely love it. It's a reason to play this deck. Next with supporters, four copies of Professor's Research. This deck loves to discard and just be able to draw seven is amazing. So yeah, just getting the things that you need into your hand and being able to discard to get your Archeops engine going. Play two copies of Boss's Orders just to drag things off the bench and KO or manipulate the game state. Same sort of thing with Serena, you can drag the Vs off, but also the being able to discard to three cards and draw so you have five, it's really good. Get the Archeopters out of your hand and just be able to sort of mulligan your hand and keep the parts that you do want and get rid of some bits that you don't. For hand manipulation, now that Marnie's gone, we are playing one copy of Judge, just a worse version of Marnie, and we're playing one copy of Roxanne as well, just because in the late game this is phenomenal, being able to put your opponent down to two cards and you draw six. And we are playing two copies of Luminion, so it's not a problem being able to search that out. And then a card that is really important now, I think, post-rotation in this deck is the copy of Professor Burnett. This is like a safety net. If I look at my hand and I really don't feel confident that I can get the engine going, then as long as I can get to Professor Burnett with, you know, a Luminion or something, then you should be able to set up that way. It's not always optimal, but at least it gives you some backup. Next with the item cards, we are playing just the two copies of Nest Ball. So this is the new ball replacing Quick Ball. Not as good in the deck, hence why I'm only playing two, as it can only grab basics. It has no discard and it goes straight to bench, so you also cannot get the effect of Luminion off. We are playing four copies of Ultra Ball, as it can grab you anything, and the discard two is really good. Obviously the optimal opening hand, you'll open this with two copies of Archeops and then spin them off straight away. That's always good to see. We are instead opting for four capturing Aroma rather than bulking up the Nest Balls. I just find this is better in the deck. If I open this with combinations of the others, then I will always use this first because it is random, depending on if you flip a heads or a tails, be able to grab a evolution or a basic but usually you'll want to grab an evolution to bin it off with the ultra ball uh, but i just find this better than the nest balls in this deck 
Next we play one copy of Trekking Shoes. This is always a good addition to any deck, just being able to kind of make your deck a little bit more consistent, looking up to two more cards, and say if you hit an Archeops, you can discard it, so really good early game. We are playing two Urn of Vitality. This works with a single strike energy and just helps to recycle the energies into your deck and pull them back out with Archeops, so a really good and really unique recovery option. Now onto stadiums, I am playing two copies of Pokestop and two copies of Tower of Darkness. I like having four stadiums because it's nice to have options in your deck to be able to bump the opponent's stadium. I know you've got Lugia's attack which can remove them, but sometimes when you get Temple of Synod or something and you've got like a double turbo it can be really awkward, so just having your own out is always good. Pokestop has great synergy because you can mill cards, so you can always hit Archeops early on. And if you hit any items, you can add them to hand, so you can be able to grab the Ultra Balls, etc., and get going that way. Tower of Darkness has the single strike synergy, so being able to discard to draw cards, always nice. And like I said, out in your opponent's pesky path to the peaks and Temple of Sinnohs. And we play quite a lot of special energies. We play four copies of the single strike energy. This is just great for your attackers, the Tyranitars, the Stonjourners of the deck, being able to increase their damage as well by 20. And then we also play one impact energy, because so we've lost Aurora. I was finding that I was kind of running out of these, even with the urn sometimes. So just having like an extra copy does come up. The poison effect is kind of negligible, but um, that seems to work really well. Playing three V Guard. I think three is kind of enough. I was trying two and then sometimes prizing them and not seeing them enough. And I think four is probably too many. Now we've got EXs and things in the format, but being able to just tank that extra 30 damage from Vs as Vs are still very prevalent in the meta. I'm also playing three copies of double turbo energy. This can be really good in the grind as well. Just be able to have the like two for one energies on it. You do hit for less damage and it also works as your switch or retreat in the deck. So I often use this, pull it out from deck and then use it to retreat a card if needed. And then the last energies that we're playing, I am playing two copies of Gift Energy. I've been kind of experimenting with ratios. This one kind of feels nice. Pokemon it's attached to when it gets knocked out from the attack of an opponent's Pokemon. Draw till you have seven cards. I was finding actually that my hand was quite small a lot of the time anyway, because I was, discarding things often and just using things so this can really swing things in your favor when something is knocked out or if you know that something's not going to survive a turn just be able to refill your hand and probably draw into some like crazy supporters and things to earn some things just to help you get back into the game playing one lucky energy similar sort of thing this is just when you take damage from an attack though and draw one so just guaranteed one if you've got a big hand you just draw one on top of it. it's not got a cap on it and then one copy of the regen energy. Only reason I'm playing one is because we only play one evolution. So it just seems stupid to play more than that, but it can come up in certain situations if you take damage early on and then you can just heal it back. And you know, damage can always come in clutch. That 100 heal might be the difference between winning or losing. So that is the deck profile. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any recommendations, let us know in the comments and please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. See you again soon.